football team. We cheer the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. It's Anthony, and today I'm at the Goodwill Outlet. I uh, got a little bit of a predicament. My van's battery died, so I have to leave it running while I'm inside. So it's a little bit shady. So let me know in the comments, would you do that or not? Getting ready to go in. This is the new one that they just opened. Me and Ashley have been here a few times. It's not as good as the other one, but the people here are much nicer and they're not as like crazed, if that makes sense. For those of you who've been to bin stores like this, I'm gonna grab a cart. It looks like they got a bunch in here already. I don't know if those belong to people, so I don't wanna sketch no one out. Grab them. Anything good here today, guys? We're from the Mickey Mouse house. Shout out to Ash. Today's her first day back at work. G troll doll. One was before Princess Poppy. Family Fuse goes up in here. Crock pot. Shout out to the Twilight fans. Never seen that movie. My cup of tea. What? L. Bundy, back in the day. Oh, dang, mini mouse. That's cool. It's like official Disney. I'm gonna have to see if I can clean that up. Ash would love that. Shout out to Ash. Right here. Robotex. That's pretty cool. Like a little Easter basket Halloween thing. I don't even really know what those are, but those are awesome for flea markets. Already finding some CDs and some media and stuff like that. Just wanted to look into some of this stuff to see if there's anything really worth saving from this place here. A bunch of records. Jesus over here just chilling. Oh, man, I love cheese. We got over here. That might be worth something, guys. Let me know in the comment section. I have to check and see if there's any pieces to it here. Been here maybe 30 minutes, and I just bumped into my first butthole. See, that's pretty good for these type of stores. They're grabbing CDs and stuff, just looking through them, and there's dude comes for like cheap vinyl. It really ain't worth nothing. Just like basically dives in front of me. It's like, bro, I'm not even looking at your vinyl, man. Chill out. But you'll see that as you guys come to places like this. Seen better days. Would have bought that if it was in good condition. Thomas the Tank. You guys ever been to bin stores? If you have, what's your experience with them in your area? I like them just because you can find stuff cheap. It's a thrill to hunt. I love remote control trucks like this when I was a kid. This one has seen better days though. Random bird. What is 
this thing from? Is this that Disney movie? Dude gets all mad. Inside Out or whatever I think it was called. I could be wrong. Comment section. I just love the thrill to hunt though, looking through all this random stuff, trying to find a gun, random drops. Trying to find money buried in trash. You know what I mean? Up in here. It's a little bit of everything completely random. Alright, guys, I'm gonna check this last row right here and then I'm gonna probably start sorting through some stuff to see what we're actually taking home. Victory! Two IKEA bags full of stuff. Paid $26 and few odd change. So guys, so you can see you source really well at these places. Um, a lot of this stuff is going right onto eBay, and uh, whatever doesn't sell there is going to the flea market. All right, guys, I'm almost home. Um, yeah, man, that uh, that place is so much more chill than uh, the other one in my area. And it's like half the distance to get to. I couldn't believe, um, even in line, there were other resellers there that, um, I don't know them personally, but they were basically telling me that they've even experienced the difference at this um, Goodwill outlet compared to the other one. Because the other one, there, there's literally people, this other one, that'll push little kids out the way to get to like toys and stuff before them like grown men like in their 50s will literally push a little boy little girl out of the way to get to a toy uh so that they can resell it rather than letting the little boy or girl get like a nice little toy for themselves um it's it's vicious out there i don't know if um if you guys experience that in your areas or not but um it, it's a breath of fresh air to just be um you know, in, in the same type of environment, but not have it be like so cutthroat. Um, still, everybody wants deals. I mean, that's the entire reason people go to these bin stores. But to have people not, you know, be so cutthroat about it and just be cool with each other. And uh, I even had a few people like, hey, did you see that over there? Um, I decided not to get it, but you know, it's worth X amount of dollars. You know what I mean? Or even today there was a guy there that was in a wheelchair, you know, and there were some things he wanted that he couldn't reach, you know, and rather than walking in front of him and snatching it for myself, I said, Hey man, can I help you out? Like, what do you want? You know? So you're always going to have people like the guy with the vinyl records that want to, you know, just jump in and get whatever he can regardless of who he offends or you know what I mean like if he needs to step on your toes to get him or whatever um, you're always going to find people like that but the awesome thing is the good definitely outweighs the bad at this one um, I'm just hoping that a lot of the bad from the other one don't come and pollute the atmosphere at this one because it's a it's a much cooler atmosphere like even my wife Ashley I took her to the other bin store the, the crazy one one time and that time there was a guy there that like literally wanted to fist fight me because I got something before he could get it and um, she she won't go back to that other store because of just the way things are there um, and honestly it sucks because it gives resellers such a bad name and uh, I don't know about you guys but I've experienced so many awesome people in this resale community that um man honestly they're they're just really cool they love what they're doing and they're willing to help each other you know and i just wish that more places would be like that but uh as soon as i get home guys i'm almost there i'm right down the street from my house as soon as i get home i'll show you a little bit of what we All got right, guys i am officially home i just got this stuff down into the shop uh, had got myself a nice little Turner's tea right there, which is amazing. If you don't have Turner's in your area, you need to you need to get up on it. It's the best tea ever. 
Um, I can't really sort through that right this minute because I have to go do a local uh, deal. There's somebody that uh, is interested in buying a bunch of these DVDs that I uh, have separated out for the flea market. So I'm going to go meet them at the Dairy Queen by my house and try to sell as many of these things as I can for a buck each. So I will check in with you and let you know how many they bought, how much money I made, and also uh, give you a little recap of what we got today from the bin and store. I just realized I didn't give you that good of a view of what these actually are. These are DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, there's a few stacks of them in there, so this is just the top stacks, but I will try to catch a little bit of this deal on camera if I can, but if the lady's not cool with it, then I'm gonna respect her and I'll just give you a recap of that after as well. All right, guys, I'm leaving the meetup right now and uh, I didn't film out of respect. Um, the customer that I was meeting, um, turns out that she actually had special needs and uh, she was there with her Habaid and um, I ended up selling her 21 DVDs slash Blu-rays for a total of $16. I was selling them a dollar a piece, but she found more uh, that she wanted than um, she had money for. So I was like, you know what? Just take every single one you want. And uh, I'm cool with the $16. Um, truthfully, I, I paid maybe 10 cents to a quarter per DVD anyway. And I'll blow them out at the flea market for $5 all day. But uh, really tugged on my heartstrings because um, this woman, man, was so grateful. And um, just a look on her face receiving these DVDs was like, you know, a, a little kid on Christmas morning. Um, apparently, she is a huge movie and, and you know, like fan. And she um, has like this awesome DVD collection. And she's been looking specifically for some of the DVDs that I was selling. So um, it, it really just made my day to see the joy on her face. And uh, it really just brought back some good memories. Um, Years ago, I actually uh, used to be a, a hab aide, the job that the lady with her was doing. Like, that's what I used to do. So um, it was just really cool to, you know, to be a part of that transaction. And uh, honestly, more so than the uh, $16 I made, uh, it was worth it just to see the joy that those DVDs brought her. I mean, honestly, these DVDs have been sitting in my basement uh, collecting dust um, since Flea flea market season ended last year and it just to think that stuff that's just sitting around that that we resell the joy that it actually can bring people is amazing so here's the box 21 dvd slash blu-rays lighter uh, i want to show you this too this is an awesome pickup i actually picked this up uh it's one of those like mobility scooters got a smoking deal on that and i uh, should be able to make about 500 on it eventually all right guys so i just got done um putting everything downstairs and i'm getting ready to let the dogs in pops come on in come say hi to the vlog come say hi to the vlog chloe say hi say hi to the vlog hunter come say hi to the vlog i hope you guys can see that um i got it facing me so i can't really tell what you see um whenever i do that but um come here come say hi come say hi come say hi come say hi Again, I couldn't really tell if you could see that, but hopefully you did. Um, they're excited that I'm home, and uh, since today was the first day Ashley went back to to work, I made uh, one of my like specialties for her. I made a crock pot full of chili. As you can see, she got like an all Disney uh, kitchen set going on in here. Like we're di this house is so Disneyed out, it's disgusting, but she loves it, so I love her. Uh, but I made a special chili for it. it. has nine different beans in it. It has like stewed tomatoes, um, special spices, and um, ground meat, obviously. Because uh, wouldn't really be a traditional chili without it. Um, sometimes I put hot dogs in it too. Like I'll cut them up, put those in there. But uh, she's been eating a lot of those lately um, as like late night snacks now that she's on a low carb diet. So... Um, I didn't want to use her hot dogs because of that. But she'll be pretty happy when she gets home from her first day back to work. Ah, Say ah. hi. Ah. Say hey. Subscribe. Ah, ah. Subscribe to Pittsburgh. Ah, ah. Like this video. Share. 
Share the video. Look, they've been playing with Crocs today, guys. Crazy little pups. There's Chloe. Chloe, say hi. Chloe. They're all hyper because they've been uh, they've been cooped up while I've been outsourcing today. Hi. Hunter really wants you to leave some comments. Say leave comments, Hunter. Say leave comments. If you leave comments, I'll get a treat and I might go bye byes. Say take me bye byes. I want to go for a walk. If you leave comments, I can go for a walk. Chloe, how about you? You want treats too? Oh, he wants treats. Hunter wants treats. Chloe, you want treats? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's actually get uh, downstairs so I can actually show you the stuff that we got today. All right, guys. Time for the recap of the stuff that we got um, at the Goodwill bin store. Finally just got down here to the shop, and uh, I've had a few sales, which is really nice um that's been keeping me from finishing up this video which is pretty cool i got uh this going out these are uh golf balls and this is a cars lightning mcqueen uh talking light up you know figure car whatever you want to call it um so let me just show you some of this stuff that that we got um today let me set you guys down that way this will be a little uh, bit easier for me to do uh, two hands okay so not entirely sure what this is if you could leave me comments um, down in the comment section if you know like what kids show this is from I got two of these these are uh, Halloween slash Easter baskets um, I, they looked cool and I figured that kids would love to use these for that occasion so not sure what they're worth but uh, these will sell at the flea market easily. I'm telling you, this is an easy three to five bucks each. So I got those two. I've got this Tonka garbage recycling truck type thing. Doesn't have anything in it, but um, I was looking these up online and I believe that ones like this in good condition are going you know about 14 15 dollars so uh, again if i can't sell it on ebay it goes to the flea market next month and i'll be able to blow it out there all day five dollars minimum well he wants to come back in the video he missed you guys stay there all right next thing i got um Ash is going to love this. This is an official Walt Disney World uh, Minnie Mouse hat. Uh, has a little bow and everything. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Um, just because it's got a little bit of fuzz and stuff all over it from being uh, in the bin. But as you can see, this is a Walt Disney World Kids. It's official. So um, you get this at the park. You're paying like $30, $40 for your kid to wear a Minnie Mouse hat. Come to this and that, my eBay store, I'll give you a deal. So, next thing we got. Since it's by the weight, I just grabbed these for Ash. She likes Disney. She's always doing crafts. So, this weighs literally nothing. Just a bunch of different Disney stickers. So, don't know if she'll use it or not. If she does it, then I'll sell it for a quarter at the flea market. This I had to get just because it looks like so ridiculous. It's going to just be amusing for me. This is uh, the Bible Man Adventures Live. So basically it's like a superhero that uh, teaches like kids ministry. Uh, it's a VHS. Um, <laughs> I just had to, to get it. I don't know that it's worth anything or not, but out of the bins, it's like paying nothing for it. So threw it in the cart. You guys know anything about Bible Man or any of that stuff? Please leave some comments. Um, I, um, I I'm always interested in getting stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, biblical stuff because um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I'm actually a ordained uh, minister. Uh, I'm a pastor with uh, the Assemblies of God. Uh, that's what I do um, mainly. Uh, well, reselling is how I how I get my living, but. Um, really my my passion in life is you know serving people and the lord but um 
So I'm always interested in getting stuff like that, uh, as cheesy as that may sound. I uh, got a few CDs. This was brand new. This is called Peaceful Christmas. Um, the only reason I bought it is because it was brand new. So somebody will buy that on eBay. Uh, I got a Shania Twain CD. Uh, this is, you know, pretty old school um, CD. Um, it's still technically sealed. I tried to get to test the, uh, the, see the back of the CD and like you can't even get it open more than that. So no one even messed with this Shania Twain. So again, by the pound all day long. And then I got New Life Worship, My Savior Lives. It's a live worship CD. Then I got a Veggie Tales, Josh and the Big Wall. This uh, is the story of uh, Joshua when he marched around Jericho, as told by Vegetables. Uh, the church that uh, me and Ashley had, we actually started our own church uh, here in our uh, hometown of New Kensington, where we live. Um, it, unfortunately, it closed uh, about a year ago, um, but the kids down there love Veggie Tales, man. They really did, and I'd never seen this. This is an Xbox 360 game called you're in the movies so picked it up you know worst comes to worst i'll sell it for three bucks at the flea market i got a uh lenovo charger um pick these up guys you know these things uh you might think are like useless if you don't have the computer there's a ton of people that have the computers that lose these or there's breaks so Pick up your power supplies because people will buy them. This right here is probably $10 to $15 all day long. Next thing I got was an AV hookup for a... Uh, this can be used on a PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. So, uh, again, people need these all the time. I can't tell you how many times I've bought systems off of people and didn't have the parts to put them together. So what I do, and Ash thinks I'm crazy, but I keep a bag of stuff like that. So that way, whenever I pick systems and stuff like that, I can put them together and they're complete. So I, I buy that stuff every time I see it, if it's cheap. Got a couple pairs of shoes. These are, I believe, a size 13. Yep, size 13. These are Asics running shoes. So these will go in my used shoe bin. Um, I'll clean them up, of course. You know, I'm not gonna just send some ratchet shoes out to somebody. I'll clean them up, I'll get them smelling, you know, right as rain. Uh, got this, I don't know if these are like golf shoes or what these are. If somebody in the comments could please let me know um, what these are. I mean, they're kind of spikes, but they're not. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing that these are for golf. But they're they're pretty nice Nikes. These are a size eight and a half. And I'm pretty sure these are men's. Yeah, size eight and a half. Nikes. Got those. Next thing we got is another pair of ASICs. These are running shoes as well. These ones are a size blurred out a little bit so these were definitely uh, worn a bit but uh, they're eight and a halfs as well for men but uh, they're pretty nice and I don't know if you guys have ever worn Asics um, I used to be a shoe salesman back in the day you know I, and the funny story is I literally applied for the job because El Bundy was a shoe salesman so I spent two years um, running a shoe carnival store I was the manager and um, I'm telling you, ASICs are literally the most comfortable shoes if you're on your feet all day. So, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm a Nike guy too. Like, I, I really love Jordans and stuff like that. And, you know, like the hype beast type shoes. But um, if you're looking for comfort, ASICs all day, every day. And I just picked up these. These are some Skechers. Um, these are like, uh, I mean, honestly, they could be like hiking shoes, but they're more like dress shoes type type shoes. You know, they got like the hiking bottoms on them and stuff like that. So you can either hike in style or you can wear these like for business casual. So pick those up too. So I got four pairs of shoes. Next bag. And I'm officially starting yet another flush tote because 
I don't know why I keep buying plushies. I mean, they sell well at the flea market, but um, some of them sell online too. I got a uh, vacuum though. Dirt Devil Upright. Dirt Devil Junior Upright. So this is a uh, like kids toy vacuum cleaner and it has like a little try me thing. So hopefully it'll shut up because it, there we go. Praise the Lord, because this thing did not want to shut up at the store. I felt like such a tool standing there in line, like with this thing just screeching in people's ears. Okay, so to get into the plushes, Grave Digger. It's a uh, Monster Jam plush, which is pretty cool. Um, I've never seen a Monster Truck plushie, so I bought it. Now I own it. So uh, this will be available on our eBay store. Doesn't sell there. It's going to the flea market. Next, I got Pikachu. I sold so many Pokemon plushes last year, it was insane. Um, so, whenever I find Pokemon plushes, I always get them because minimum of $5 at the flea market. Pikachu here looks like he got a little bit of dog hair on him or something, so I'm going to have to run a lint roller on him and uh, get him looking brand new again. I have a sickness when it comes to the minions. I don't know why, but literally I buy like everything minions. Like every time I see it, I'm like, dang, I'm bringing minions home again. And Ash is like, really more minions? Check this one out. That gave me way more enjoyment than I should be receiving now that I'm 34 years old. But yeah, it's a big singing minion plush. Welcome home, buddy. He'll be on eBay, you can grab him. This is pretty cool. I've uh, sold several of these already. Uh, the talking minion where you like squeeze its belly. So the cool thing about these is these are from Universal Studios. I don't know if you can see that there in the video, but these are official Universal Studios um, toys. So this will be on eBay. Any of you Universal fans. I actually have one on my table over here. Let me show you that I just keep for myself because I like the minions. I don't know if you can see them over there. I keep a little uh, pirate's mini helmet on them. So, I don't know. I like minions. So, I keep them there so I can look at them when I'm working. And I know this video is running like super long, so I will try my best to get through the rest of this. Just a little jump rope that's brand new I got for the flea market. Sell it for two, three bucks. Brand new Grinch plush. Um, this should be good now that that brand new Grinch movie came out, even though this is kind of like the old school Dr. Seuss plush, but brand new with tags. Had to get it. I'm a sucker for brand new stuff, so I buy a lot of stuff just because it's new. Uh, got a Superman plush, the plastic head. like an older uh, Pluto plush. Got the little name on his neck, and this is an official Disney Parks plushie. So, I don't know if Ash will want this. Normally the Disney stuff, I like show her first. If she wants it, she can keep it. If she doesn't, then I put it on eBay. Um, hold on a minute, guys, I have a phone call. Wrong number. I know, I'm a huge dork. I got this for Ash, too, because she does a lot of, like, Disney crafts. So it's just, like, plastic. Well, I don't know if it's, like, a tablecloth or something like that, but she wants it cool. If she doesn't, I don't really care because it's by the pound, so this is, like, literally, like, paying for air. So. I know she has a bigger one of this, but it's a, it's a Belle Beauty and the Beast blush. If you don't want that again, I'll just eBay, flea market, all day long. This one I know she doesn't have. This is a uh, Princess Anna from Frozen, I believe. So she'll probably like this one. This has like a good plastic head on it. So it's like, it's well made compared to some of the uh, princess plushies I've seen. 
Not that I'm like an aficionado in, in princess plushies. I just got a wife that literally loves all things Disney. So like, I'm like all about knowing about Disney. This is Mario. Um, I don't know why Cappy ain't with him. This looks like he'd be throwing Cappy maybe. Like he can throw Cappy at stuff, but I didn't get Cappy. Cappy's missing guys. So we got Mario. I'll probably just put him on my table here cause I'm a huge uh, Nintendo nerd. Either that or I'll put them upstairs. I have like a collection of every Nintendo system that's ever been out. Uh, this is a random, tiny, uh, goofy bobblehead. If Ashley wants it, she can have it. If not, it's a flea market item. Now sourcing for both flea market and uh, eBay just because we're like a month out from me being able to actually go to flea markets here in Pittsburgh. This is a handy adder where you can like add up stuff with your fingers. I mean, I don't know. I, I personally wouldn't use something like this, but they're selling for like 10 to 15 bucks online and it's very light, so I figured why not. If not, I'll sell it at the flea market. This is a brand new uh, cassette tape. So I bought this, I can bundle it with, you know, a stereo system or something, maybe. Maybe even like a, you know, cassette recorder. Next thing I got is a brand new Disney Doc McStuffins Activity Fun Kit. That was a mouthful. Um, but yeah, essentially it's just basically like a coloring book with like some stuff you can put in it. Um, but it's a good eight to 10 bucks online. If not again, blow it out at the flea market. And then lastly, I got some of these books. They were 25 cents each. Um, I, I had to get these. I'll probably uh, lot these together, but uh, these are little blessings. What is God like? And then another little blessings. What about heaven? Where basically it's like a storybook to teach kids about the character of God and about heaven and stuff like that. And then I also got uh, another kids Bible stories thing, which is the miracle of the loaves and the fishes. So just little things that, um, you know, I can either use for ministry, I could sell online or, you know, one day when we're blessed to have a child, I can read it to my kids and teach them about the Lord. So, um, that's, that's everything, everything you see in there. I paid $26 and some change for, um, and I got a coupon to go back. Boom. So 15% off, but I think this is just for, yeah, this is just for like regular Goodwills. You can't use this at the bins. That'd be, that'd be ridiculous if they gave you 15% off of Wade stuff, but that's everything guys. If you would go ahead and leave us a like subscribe because I really want to get us to a hundred subs so we can start doing live shows. Uh, and if we do get to a hundred, I promise you I'll commit right now to doing a weekly live stream for you guys. And, um, let's get her done guys. Let's, let's do this thing big, but, uh, I appreciate y'all for watching and uh, until next time you take it easy.